Hello, this is Jose Luis here at Parametric Camp and welcome to a new playlist called Advanced Development in Grasshopper. What I would like to teach you in this course is how to go beyond what could be referred to as the standard use of Grasshopper, where we can create parametric models by using the standard set of components in vanilla grasshopper or maybe even plugins that you have downloaded from third parties and creating your definitions by placing collections of these items, joining them by wires and therefore developing a workflow. That is a very good introduction to parametric modeling is what grasshopper is designed to be really good at. But if you are here, it's probably because you have detected or you have seen that there is still all this other deeper layer to Grasshopper that can be opened up if instead of using the standard set of tools and components, you engage into more deeper customization of your workflows, starting with using, for example, programming inside of Grasshopper via the C Sharp script component or perhaps the Python script component, all the way to doing things with these techniques that are very difficult to do with standard Grasshopper. For example, iterations, for loops, repetition, or even real-time simulation dynamic form finding. All the way leading up to perhaps even getting so good at this that you can develop your own plugins for Grasshopper that you can use for yourself, you can use in your company, or share with the rest of the world and contribute back to the community. So in this playlist, in this course, what I would like to teach you is how to supersede that standard use of Grasshopper and engage into deeper customization by using scripting inside of Grasshopper and by developing your own plugins. And in this course, we will actually together develop one plugin, native plugin, that we will actually publish by the end into Food for Rhino and Yak. So what is this going to look like? Well, the playlist, I just finished recording it like last week. So I'm recording this video post, the whole thing. And you can see that the, the, list, the playlist is actually quite comprehensive. I touch into many topics that are pretty cool. All the videos are designed to be building on top of each other incrementally. So I mix them. I mix concepts with exercises, so hands-on. Let's practice what I just showed in the previous exercise, in the previous lecture. And I actually really strongly recommend that you follow them sequentially after the other and that whenever you hit an exercise, you actually take the time to practice with me and doing building whatever we are building in that particular exercise. In particular, what I would like to show you is, first of all, I would like to introduce you to many topics in this playlist. The first one is going to be talking about Rhino Common and talking about the scripting engine that lives under Grasshopper and under Rhino that we can use to um, access all the good geometrical information and geometry processes. I would like to then use the C Sharp script component as the baseline where we will practice and prototype all of our homebrew algorithms, if you will. So I will basically try to teach you how to do what you already know how to do with standard Grasshopper components, but implement the same functionality in one C Sharp component. There are many advantages to doing this performance, access to for loops, access to iteration, dynamic simulation, things that I will explain over the course of this playlist. Similarly, because we will have access now to scripting, we will also have access to many more advanced geometry operations that sometimes are either hidden or not available as part of the standard set of components. We will use that, for example, to do advanced operations with intersections, with nerves, with meshes. We will learn how to load external libraries and third-party DLLs in our Grasshopper C Sharp script components. And I will point you to references of where can you learn more about how actually vanilla or standard components are written and where can you see versions of the code that is running in the components that you already use in standard grasshopper so that it helps you do the transition from something that you already know which is the grasshopper component to how that very same functionality would be written in c sharp script that will be a really useful exercise to understand the translation and moving from the higher level the grasshopper component to the lower level, which is writing the same algorithm on your own. 
I will also use this, some of this time to review some programming concepts that are important and fundamental and that will help us a lot understand how to improve our algorithms and why certain things work the way they work. For example, differences between structs and classes or for example, how to actually work with data trees, but not using standard Grasshopper tools, but using data trees inside of scripting environments, which is slightly different than how it's done in vanilla terms. I would also like to talk about how C Sharp script components are basically classes and how by understanding where certain properties live and what the relation with the Grasshopper execution cycle is, then that will allow us to do, for example, dynamic simulations or computations that are running periodically and that allow us to generate, for example, dynamic form. I will use the example of a pendulum. I will use the example of a elastic rope and I will use the example of a bouncing ball inside of a rectangle to illustrate this. This would be really fun exercises and very easy to do. I will also like to teach you a little bit more like hacky stuff. So for example, how to use scripting to manipulate the UI of Rhino and the UI of Grasshopper themselves so that you can do things such as, for example, more beautiful visualization of your algorithms by screen grabbing something that has a pure white background and therefore composing that into a video that you could use for your own YouTube tutorials or uh, who knows what or for presentations and even more advanced topics like contributions from the community like the plugin Remo Sharp from our Parametric Cam contributor at us too, who made this very awesome framework to allow people to work remotely from different places in the world with the same grasshopper definition. We recorded this video with me being in Boston and him being in Tokyo, which was actually quite, quite fun. And then all of this will help us at some point move on and evolve to superseding scripting inside Grasshopper. And I will teach you how to use Visual Studio to create your own native plugins that you can compile, that you can share, and that you can add icons to. I didn't do this in this example, but that you can uh, package and share with the entire world, just like any other third-party plugins that you may have used before in Grasshopper. I will use that as well. Uh, as a way to discuss certain things that are interesting for development. So I will teach you, for example, the difference between the different Grasshopper formats that are available. And I will teach you things such as how to make your development a bit more lean, a bit more efficient by, um, by for example, connecting Visual Studio with some files in Rhino and using breakpoints and all those things that are more technical and more related to development. And last but not least, what I would like to teach you is once you have built a very awesome plugin, how can you share this in Food for Rhino so that other people can download it? Or how can you use this in the, how can you publish it in the package manager so that people can open the package manager in Rhino and automatically download and install plugins themselves? We will wrap up the playlist with this wonderful conversation that I had with many people that I actually admire and whose work has been pivotal and fundamental to the Grasshopper community. People who have developed plugins that are extremely popular and whose, that have enabled many people like myself and other people to do really, really great things with Grasshopper. They are really good examples of this idea of having a concept for a tool, developing that tool and making it available publicly to the community. So how is this going to work? Well, you've seen the playlist. It's just a bunch of lectures combined with exercises. I very strongly recommend that you follow them one after the other and that you try to get hands on. We will be over the course of the full playlist building up. We will be prototyping a plugin and we will actually then transition to building that plugin natively, which is a really good exercise if you ever want to do that by yourself. I will, however, build on top of two assumptions. First of all, if you're here on this playlist, you're probably already familiar with standard Grasshopper. So you know how to use Grasshopper, you know how to build definitions, you know how to do parametric modeling. So, because I will not be reviewing those concepts in this playlist. If you're not yet familiar with Grasshopper, then I very strongly recommend that you go and you check out our introduction to parametric modeling playlist. In that playlist, I go over from 
absolute scratch, no assumptions, beginner, zero. I go over uh, how to use Grasshopper to create parametric modeling. Uh, a card should be popping up somewhere in the corner. If you haven't seen that, and there will be a description of a link to that playlist in the description of this video. So I'm assuming you know standard Grasshopper, but also for this playlist, I will be assuming that you are familiar with C sharp programming, with the C sharp programming language. So in this video, we will use a lot of C sharp programming, and I'm also not going to cover C sharp scripting inside of this video, because for that, I also have a playlist called Learning C sharp, which covers C sharp as a programming language standalone and with no relation to anything, just console applications and the program itself. If you are not familiar with that, there should be a playlist in popping up as a card as well, somewhere in the corner, and there will be a link in the description of this video as well. And with these two things, if you know standard Grasshopper and if you know standard C sharp, what I would look like to do in this playlist is connect the dots and help you understand how to use a programming language that you learned as a standalone thing and a parametric modeling environment, which you also learned as a standalone, combine and harness the power of that combination. This is what this playlist is mostly about. I'm going to be focusing on the technical aspects of scripting inside of Grasshopper, building geometry using C sharp scripting, and developing geometric operations using code as a medium. So when, and we're going to be using very, very few standard vanilla Grasshopper components. And also, if you're interested in what we're doing here, a really good extension to this playlist is checking out some of our algorithmic modeling challenges where we build things using standard Grasshopper and then we rebuild the same thing using C sharp scripting inside of Grasshopper. It's also very helpful to understand the transition between Grasshopper and doing the same thing using code. There should also be a card popping up to a playlist with a bunch of those algorithmic modeling challenges. We will be building a plugin together. So I will actually not finish the entire thing. I will only do half of it. So it will be an interesting exercise for you once you finish the playlist to, if you want, continue building the entire thing just as a practice. And last word of warning, I finished recording this playlist at the beginning of 2023. So if you're watching this from the far, far future, maybe Grasshopper has changed, maybe Visual Studio has changed, maybe Rhino has changed, or maybe the world has ended. I don't know. <laughs> but depending on how far away in the future you're watching this, the content might be outdated. I will try to do my best to add videos at the very end of the playlist with updates when technology changes or removing something, things that might be obsolete. But just take, uh, take these things with a, a pinch of salt. I am teaching this using Rhino 7 and using Grasshopper 1. As of right now, Grasshopper 2 is in alpha. It's still not available for public release. It's also not available for scripting. So whenever that is the case, I may re-record some videos and update the content for Grasshopper 2. But in the meantime, we're still not there yet. And that was a lot of talking just to introduce the playlist. I'm hopeful that you are excited about what we're doing. This will be really good if you really want to improve your skills as a computational designer and bring them to the next level because this list will help you not anymore build things for your own self, but it will help you build things that you can then share with the greater community, which is perhaps like the next step to becoming more of a senior computational designer, if you will, I don't know. At any rate, thank you anyway for considering this playlist. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a lot. And is as usual, if you want to learn more, feel free to follow us on social media. Feel free to join Discord. Feel free to drop us a message anywhere if you make something cool with what you learn in this playlist. And maybe subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, uh, say hi in the comments, whatever your form of expressing gratitude might be. Thank you very much. And let's talk in and mod starting and blah, 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 more starting. I'll see you on the next video. And let's see what this feels like. Let's write some awesome Grasshopper plugins. See you in the next video. Bye.